Sauce it up. Hey. If you gotta leave, then I want to Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna show you guys this awesome Sklingo. I kinda took a break for a little bit, uh, but I'm back with making tutorials. Make sure you do subscribe and like and without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is we got this uh clip I got my clip synced up and everything. Nothing uh much, but it's just a sync clip with velocity. If you want a, a basic beginner's guide to DaVinci Resolve and you're kind of a beginner, um go ahead and check out my beginner's video. It should be on my channel. I'll link that in the uh description below. And also um uh we're gonna be needing the BCC and Sapphire plugins. So uh make sure you do get those and uh yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just drag this up right here like so and then go to the color page uh, This is gonna look a little uh, pretty complicated actually. We're gonna start in the first frame. So make sure your uh, Playhead is is on the first frame and then we're going to add a alpha output by right-clicking in this kind of checkered area Not clicking on anything else besides the checkered area and then just create drag this blue thing right over to this blue dot over here and it basically what that does is create a transparent layer so you're able to mask this out so click this pen tool and then just uh start masking it uh probably not the best frame to start masking on because it's kind of covered by like everything okay so like right here i'll do a little bit of an example on how to use the mask uh, because uh, I'm gonna be masking on this on After Effects because it's way easier. If you do want to get an easier process on masking, I do have a After Effects tutorial, beginner's tutorial on how to mask or use the rotoscoping feature. You can do this, uh, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to mask real quick on uh, DR. So just uh, kind of just trace around that and then connect to the very first dot again. So let's say this was my mask and um i want to move frames so i created the first frame use your arrow keys to go to that second frame and then you would just like reposition it and to your likings uh but yeah and once you're like done like all these frames by moving those these things right here like moving them around and yeah i'm pretty sure you can subtract these uh with a way but i'm not really clear i'm sure you can find a tutorial on youtube on how to mask uh, way better but anyway i'm gonna go back to the edit page and uh just uh rotoscope in after effects and i'll be right back okay and anyway i just rotoscope this uh thing so i will show you how to do the skin glow so you just go ahead and open this infusion page uh and drag my skin glow uh blue skin glow preset blue skin glow preset i don't know why i said that i close out your spine if it is open so you can drag this out just drag this down to the glow and then attach the rays to the media out and it will create this and uh it should look like that the next thing we're going to add is um a um kind of like i don't know how to explain like a half tone effect it kind of like fills in the background and kind of like like focuses the main focus on the skin glow so go and just add that uh s underscore half tone now we'll be showing you guys settings for this it is uh 450 which is uh, nice it kind of looks like a comic thing uh but yeah uh you can put the lighten up a bit i put this about minus uh 0.3 to darken it up a bit and then also speaking of uh like darkening it up you can go ahead and just go to uh right here to the opacity and we're going to key from that in the beginning and go one two three frames forward and I'm going to put it to 70. It kind of focuses it more on the skin glow, which uh, will be nice in the future. And also uh, bring this uh, and drag it in three frames to fade in. So it, sh it fades in a bit. And so I think it looks pretty nice so far, but that we're not even done yet. Uh, go ahead and drag in uh, your um, adjustment clip and just trim it up to the size before the uh, kill. Just go ahead and fade this in. Uh, actually, no, we don't even need to fade that one. Go ahead and open this one up. And uh, go ahead and drag in my movement transform preset. Should be something like that. Yeah, movement transform and warp. Uh, but go ahead and just drag this over to here. And this thing you're going to be having to uh, uh, realign uh, keyframe. So that might be a little hard for you guys. But uh, it won't be uh, that extreme. Okay, anyway... Uh, speaking of that if you do if you are in davinci resolve 17 you can just go to the keyframe menu right here 
and you'll find the keyframes Control A and then you or select the keyframes like that and then just drag them to your playhead which will, should be in the beginning and then you're all set or if you're on DR16 you can just check all these things on and then you would have to do this uh, by selecting all these and then dragging it to your playhead it does not matter whichever way you use it uh, but that's just how you uh, use it if you are using the older version of davinci resolve but then let's just go back to the edit page because mine is already aligned and it should give it like a shake and warp and transform which is very nice and uh yeah so the final thing that we do need to add is uh impact so go ahead and just drag in your impact and then you're all set to go so this was a very easy skin glow if you guys did enjoy make sure to subscribe and like i'm gonna end the video here